he has a warning light on the dashboard it does a weird thing which i wanted to show you on the camera as well you can see the idle is jumping the car has nearly 100,000 on the clock the chemical carbon cleaner was done on this one recently and have a look at the carbon build up welcome guys back to another video behind me you can see this beautiful red mazda 6 i love it especially because it has a lot of buttons underneath the steering wheels which steering wheel which i'll show you and it has also the emblem the mazda emblem is not the regular one because it has a radar in it and it has the adaptive cruise control which is so cool i got that in my bmw but anyways get back to the topic why the car is here so initially the owner booked himself in for carbon cleaning and exhaust camshaft inspection he has a warning light on the dashboard which i'll show you what that is uh, and what it is related to and also it has like it does a weird thing which i wanted to show you on the camera as well so let me get into the car show you the light data and show you what the car does what the fault codes are and what we think what is wrong with it and what is going to uh, what's going to be done on the car so here is the emblem i wanted to show you before i jump into the car so it is not the 3d emblem as on the regular cars but it is like a ceramic something i believe and it has a radar in it so that's how it keeps the distance from the previous or like the vehicle in front of it and that's how it's using the adaptive cruise control and here are the buttons so all the extra features the car has the more buttons the better the car is in my opinion and this one also has the the upgraded head unit or the navigation system or the multimedia unit and uh, the newest gear shift stick not the one with the weird uh, road but just the forward and backward so simple and so nice but now let me turn on the car finally and show you what's wrong with it so if i turn on you can see the idle is jumping and it is shaky and it has the vehicle system malfunction on i've seen that often on the forums the people are telling what it is what it, what it can be guys you don't know until you scan the car for codes because it can mean the oil pressure the vacuum pump few other things as well so always always scan for fault codes and then you will know what that malfunction is with your vehicle so the fault code is related to the vacuum pump it is the p258b you can check it i have another video for that fault code like how to replace the vacuum pump again the vacuum pump has to be replaced because it went went bad went wrong you can't fix it you need to replace it my guess is it went bad because of the worn camshaft again the owner will have that inspected probably we will find it worn but you never know maybe he will be lucky we've seen that a few times even on the 2015 models um yeah and the 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 idle thing the idle problem is very likely because of the it can be because of the camshaft so the the camshaft is not pushing down the valves and the exhaust gases cannot escape when they need and the EGR cannot direct it back to the intake system so hence it can have that not misfire but rough idle and also it can be because of the solid carbon or heavy carbon buildup inside the intake manifold and the intake ports we will see which one it is uh, we had that already a few times when it had this problem and it was solved obviously after the carbon cleaning and if the camshaft needed replacement we did that too I've checked the oil pressure, oil pressure is fine, um, but again, based on what we will see, what we will find underneath the valve cover, we will, we may recommend the owner just to drop the sump and see the strainer. The car has nearly 100,000 on the clock, but yep, um, also it has the old exhaust pressure sensor, so we I will advise the customer to get that replaced and the pipe cleaned because the valve cover will be off already and the uh, egr parts as well so we can heat it up get it cleaned um but yeah it's all always on the customer he will let me know what he wants or what kind of jobs he wants uh, to, to be done on the car and we will go ahead accordingly so now let me remove the valve cover and then show you what i found underneath 
also then just mentioned to me now that a chemical carbon clean was done on this one recently i believe or he believes so we will see how bad the intake ports and the intake manifold will manifold will be after such a uh, carbon cleaning which we are not saying we are against but we think that is waste of the money in these cases because it doesn't do anything also another maybe interesting thing for you so the reason why that idling or kangarooing is because as you can see from the live data you should see the or you should be looking at the EGR valve and the bypass valve so they are both opening and closing and whereas only one should be working at this point and i believe again i'm not 100 sure but i think the the cooler bypass should be uh working only so it is air related issue i believe that idle issue is because of the the carbon buildup so yeah that's what i wanted to show you just just an, again like something interesting or maybe you find that interesting so i have already removed the valve cover and i removed the oil shovel because first i thought the camshaft is not worn but when i had a closer look on the third cylinder the lobe it is worn um i'm not sure if you will be able to see it or but or from where but it has that lip um you slightly see it um also oil changes i mean not the worst one what we've seen but it's on the like a bad side not too frequent oil changes normally what you want to see it is like a yellowish goldish color uh, inside the cylinder head and also what i can tell even though it still had the old copper injector washers they didn't blow out because there is no carbon build up around the injector holes let me try again with the screwdriver and try to show you that lip um so basically the screwdriver goes in you see it has the lip and the other one um i can't show you because it's on the other side no from here this one doesn't have the lip so the screwdriver moves along on here it 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 is stopped by the lip if that makes sense so now i'm going to let the owner know what we found <coughs> And then, whatever he says, we're going to go uh, by that, carrying out the job, the rest of the jobs. But definitely, the vacuum pump needs to be replaced because it has fault codes for that. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to remove the intake manifold and the EGR part because it came for carbon cleaning also. And yeah, here you can see the e old exhaust pressure sensor. We're going to recommend a replacement of it. Again, the customer has the last word, so he will decide whether he wants to get that replaced or not. So I have also removed the intake manifold and the EGR parts and have a look at the carbon buildup. It is not even that bad. I don't know. It seems maybe that chemical cleaning maybe helped something. It didn't take out everything obviously but it's not that bad um, let me show you the intake manifold and also the intake shutter valve so that's that's still a big chunk there so that's bad and have a look at that one in the meanwhile dan's got finished the cx5 so we started it up that is running it's working and have a look what q lined up behind it for the ram so we are going to test drive that and then too needs to be checked for leaks and everything the plastic undress the under trace needs to be put back and we can return these three to the owners so the camshaft is replaced and now i'm fitting the valve cover in order to be able to carry out the carbon cleaning so no one or not no one sorry nothing will get uh, to the cylinder head um so i'll put back the injectors and the fuel lines and everything so make it properly connected everything and then the carbon cleaning can be done and the rest is just to reassemble the parts, but I will show you the results of the carbon cleaning, obviously. 
so the carbon cleaning is done as well let me show you the results Ben, can you please come here? Show the camera at a better angle. Put it under here. So this one turned out really great. Yeah, so the last thing is to put it back together, change the belt, and we can fire this one up even today, take it for a test drive tomorrow, and give return it to the owner. So I am back from the test drive. As you can see, the car averaged 45 mpg with AC Eco on. It's quite good that shuddering uh juddering rough idle is gone now so we consider it as a success the mpg is quite good even if it has like a race chip um so it adjusts the fuel or something like that on the on the cars like it's connected to the fuel rail um the owner says it makes a, like, a massive difference what i'm going to do now is i'm booting up the diagnostic tool because we've done an oil change on it i'm going to reset the oil um change data set it here on the set now or the multimedia unit and that's it i can let the customer know that he can come and pick the car up so for this one that was it um thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next one take care and bye bye